guys, welcome to Tech Space. My name's Nick. Now on this video, we're gonna talk about LED lighting. Now, if you wanna take your studio or office space from this to this, then this is the video for you. Let's jump into it. Now, when it comes to LED lighting and you do a little bit of a search into Google, you are bombarded with so much option and choice. So usually what I do is I jump over to YouTube, I type in LED lighting, and then I just start looking at a whole bunch of different videos and look at different people's spaces and just see what they're doing with LED lighting. Now, this video was created for you guys to do that exact same thing. I'm gonna talk about what LED lighting I use in here. Now, I actually use smart lights. Now, smart lights, if you've never heard of that, are basically lights that connect over an app via Wi-Fi. Now, you can change what color they're on, you can put them to animate, you can usually tell them what time of day to turn on or off, and if you have a smart home or a smart home device like an Alexa or a Google Assist, you can actually voice activate your lights. Hey Google, turn my studio lighting off. How cool is that? <laughs> Well, the only thing is you can't see me now. So, hey Google, turn my studio lighting on. How cool is smart lights, all voice activated. Oh, hang on. Google is still talking to me. Okay, Google, thank you very much. Now, the product that I use in this studio is actually called LifeX. Now, they produce a whole bunch of smart lighting for your home, but the two products that they make that I really love using in this studio are, and I have them right here, they're LED smart strips, and this little bad boy right here is called LifeX Beam. Now, this is more than just a light, it actually almost is an art installation. Now, you can put this thing all up on your wall, you can frame up your computer screen, or even your window frame, or even put it above a bed. Now, it is a smart light that you can control through your app. So, you know what? I thought, why not install it into my studio space? I have used this, but I'm actually gonna move it to a different space in my studio. I'm gonna put it up behind my computer screen. So, let's jump into the box. Now, once you open up the box, you have a whole bunch of LED strips that are behind frosted plastic. Now, what they call them is they call them beams. Now, there's six beams in a box. Now, one of the things that I noticed when I first open up the beams is they actually have magnets at the end. And so when you put the two beams together, if you got it the right way, they'll actually click together, which I thought was very cool. Now, there's six beams that come in a box and they also provide you with a square piece that allows you to do a right angle. So if you're wanting to kind of really frame up your computer screen, you can. So let's jump over to the computer screen and actually see what I'm gonna do here. Now I'm thinking with this, I'm gonna probably move up from the bottom right here, and then I'll go up over the top of the computer screen and then down to the other side. And I'm thinking that's probably gonna be the look that I do. So let's jump into that. Now before I actually put the LifeX beam on the wall, I wanted to show you how they mount. Now on the back of the LifeX beam are these little Velcro strips. Now the cool thing about this is you can actually apply command Velcro strips to it and actually stick it directly on the wall. Now if you don't know what a command strip is, they basically look like this. One side is sticky, the other side is Velcro. So the Velcro part goes onto the beam and the sticky part right here goes onto the wall. Now once you apply it to the wall, usually you only have to hold it for about 15 seconds and then it'll stick to the wall. And because these beams are so light, you don't need any mounting brackets or any screws to hold it in. This command strip will hold it right to the wall. And the cool thing about Velcro is, if you make a mistake, you can just undo the Velcro and re-stick it on. <laughs> well, I'm gonna jump into putting this on the wall, so enjoy the time lapse of me doing it. Now that we've got the LifeX beam mounted on the wall and ready to go, the next step is to connect it to the app. Now the great thing about LifeX products, unlike a lot of other smart LED lighting out there, is you don't need to buy a secondary home unit or home pod to connect your lights to. You can actually connect it directly to the LifeX app. 
Now with this app, I could spend a whole video on this app because it is so powerful and there's so many options and different color looks and moods that you can do, but I'm just gonna give you a brief overview. Now once you've loaded in your lights, you can choose between grouping your lights or your individual lights. So let's just jump into the beam light. Now once opening up the beam light, you get a bunch of different options around changing colors. Now you can change it through a color wheel, you can change it to different types of white from cool whites to warm whites. Then there's themes. Now these are a whole bunch of preloaded themes. And then you have your palette. Now this is all individual colors that you can choose and you can fill or you can paint. So we'll jump back to the color wheel. Now moving this color wheel left and right will actually change the beam's color. Now I've got the beam set to about a 13% light um, capacity because for camera, if I was to push it anymore, it'll blow out. But I'll let you have a quick look at what it looks like when I push it all the way up to 100%. Now you probably can't see this because the color is being blown out to a pure white, but in this room, the whole room is filled with this aqua color. So it is a very powerful light to use. Now I'll just drop it back down for the camera. There we go, so you guys can see it. Now you can move all the way through the different color wheel, go through the different cycles. Now there is thousands of different colors that you can choose because you can actually move the slider up and down to more of a pastel color or a bright, vibrant color. Now, moving over to the whites, now this allows you to move between your cool daylights and your tungsten colors all the way through to your really warm colors. And then if you go all the way to the warmest um, ultra, what they call ultra warm, if you push that up, it actually creates a very nice golden look, which is really hard to do usually with LED lights. So they've done a really good job with this. Now, if we move over to themes, now these are a whole bunch of preloaded themes that they've loaded onto the app. So if I just click on one of those, you should see the beam change in color. Now it's a little bit hard to show on camera here, but if I just bring it down, you'll be able to see the different colors that it's able to produce. Now, if we move over to the palette, now the palette allows you to actually paint the whole beam a particular color. Now, if you're wanting to paint individual parts of the beam, what you can do is you click on the paint and then you can just click on different parts of the beam and it'll actually paint them for you. Now, the last thing that I wanna quickly show you on the app is the effects palettes. Now, what these effects do, as you can see on the screen, you can do color cycles, you can move, you can randomize. Now, if I was to click on move, as you can see there, the lights will move across the beam. So this is really cool if you're wanting to create you know, something for a party. And down the bottom, it also has a visualizer. So if you were able to click it onto music, it'll actually go to the beat of the music. And you can get really creative in the different looks that you want to do. And you can really customize this app and this lighting looks to what you want in your bedroom space or studio space. Now, before I jump into the next product that I use in this studio space, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because it lets me know that you support the page and also I can create some great videos going forward for you guys. Now, if you have any questions, hit me up in the comments below. If you're liking anything that I'm using in my studio and you wanna know where I got it from or how I use it, just hit me up and I'll uh, get back to you. Now, LifeX LED strips. Now these work very similar to the LifeX beam. They are smart lights, but one of the cool things about these LED strips is you can break them up into different color zones. Now, according to the box, it says it has 16 different color zones. Now what colored zones basically means is that you can paint different parts of the LED strips, different colors. So if you're wanting to say, do it pink at the front, blue at the back, you can do that. And then with the app, you can animate the colors to move through. You can set up different themes and you can create some very dynamic looks. Now, the thing that I would suggest when you're using LED lighting is make sure you hide it. Now, when I say hide the LED strips is you usually wanna put it behind something. So what I did on my office setup is I actually put it behind my desk on the lip right there. What this does is it actually shines the light up against the wall and creates a very dynamic look. Now, if you're going to do this in your bedroom, I would suggest putting it underneath the bed so that it shines down on the floor, or you can put it on the bed head and shine up against the back wall. 
Now with LED lighting, there is a ton of options that you can do and really it's up to you to create some really cool looks for you and your space. But what I would highly recommend when buying LED lighting is go smart LED lighting. Because when you go the cheaper option, usually what you find is you're set to one color, you always have to have the remote around you. But if you've got an app, you can set time of day it comes on, you can create dynamic looks, and you can also create some really cool moods. Well, that's it for this week on Tech Space. Hopefully you've enjoyed all the different colored LED lighting options from the Life X Beam through to the LED strips. Until next time, I'm Nick. Thank you for watching Tech Space, and I'll see you next time.